again. What's the function of the air stuff? All right. Um, so last week, what we talked about in the article that you guys read and the lab that you're going to do today is about the unfertilized um, bird egg. But we know that if fertilization does happen, so if that tiny little blastoderm, that little spot, if it is combined with a sperm cell from a male bird after they mate, then that little blastoderm will start to divide. It'll go from one cell into two and four and start to form the actual bird embryo. And that embryo will grow and develop inside of the egg. It depends on the species how long that will take. You know, in, chick in, in chickens, for example, it's about three weeks or so. Other birds, it might be longer. Some birds, it might be shorter. It just depends on the species. So the next couple slides are about the parts if the embryo is present. If the blastoderm gets fertilized, okay, it starts to look a little different. An unfertilized egg, we know what they look like because we eat them all the time. That's an unfertilized egg. And um, the fertilized egg all looks a little different because the embryo starts to form. Okay? And so the embryo of the uh, egg, it's, it starts off obviously very, very small. It starts off as just... Um, a little patch of cells that you wouldn't even recognize. But eventually as those cells grow, they start to multiply, they start to become different from each other, and they start to form a little embryo. You know, at first it just looks like a little worm-like thing. Okay? All vertebrates really in their very, very early stages of development look basically the same. Okay? Whether it's a mammal or a bird or a reptile, they all kind of look the same for a little while. So you have the embryo in there. Um, obviously, you have the yolk that's there in the middle of the uh, of the egg. You have the surrounding. What would this all be? Cytoplasm. No. <laughs> <laughs> so this is not a cell. It's not a single cell in egg. Cool, man. Whatever it's called. Yeah, it is. No. That's what she said. The, yolk the embryo yolk starts off a single cell. For an no, what? this is the egg white. What was the word for the egg white? Albumin. So egg white is the albumin. It's water and protein. And then there's some other things that form. Um, and so this organ here, this is called the allantois. And it's sort of attached to the um, embryo. <coughs> and then surrounding the embryo is a little bubble called the amnion. <coughs> so this is what it might look like after about five days. This is um, a chicken embryo after about five days. So pretty small, but you would be able to see it in there. Um, and so the embryo is obviously the, the developing bird that's going to form. This allantois, this is actually a, a membrane that helps for the removal of waste and taking in of oxygen. Because as this embryo grows and uses nutrients and so forth, it produces waste. And that waste is eliminated by this allantois. The amnion, this little sac that surrounds the bird, that's just another sort of shock absorber. It's filled with a liquid. Kind of like in mammals, there's the amniotic sac. This is the same thing. A little membrane surrounding the embryo <coughs> helps the cushion. As this embryo grows, what do you think happens to the size of the yolk? Yeah, it shrinks. Why does it shrink? Olivia? because the embryo is using nutrients from that yolk to grow. It's, it's basically, it's, it's not actually eating it, like chewing and swallowing it, but it's absorbing the nutrients from that yolk, and that's the energy it uses to grow bigger. But that would be bigger because they eat like, their mom. Well, in humans? Yeah. Well, they absorb nutrients through the placenta, but not through like a yolk like that. All right, so a little ways later, we see things, the embryo grows, gets larger. You know, the head is one of the first parts to form, so it starts off much bigger than the other parts, out of proportion. But eventually, the other parts will catch up. Um, so again, we have the embryo. It's have high. the amnion that surrounds it. The 
You have the yoke down here. And now what you see is we've added in, and there's the elantris. We've shown here some of these vessels. These are called yoke vessels. Up here, they're called elantuic vessels. And they're basically these tubes that carry stuff from the chick to the elantuis and vice versa, and from the yolk into the chick. So for the nutrients from the yolk to actually get into the developing embryo, they go through these vessels. The elantuic vessels are for breathing. The yolk vessels are for nutrients. changes as we go from day 5 to 10 to 15 to 20. And as we go, you know, the yolk gets smaller and smaller. The chick gets bigger and bigger. Um, towards the end of its development, its beak starts to face out towards that air cell so it can poke in there to take its breath and break out of the egg. So that's sort of how it looks at different stages. What if it can't get out of the egg? It happens sometimes. Sometimes the um, embryo can't break out of the egg and just doesn't survive. It's just the way it forms so it can poke out through that air stick. So you'll see that in this video here. It shows you sort of an animation of what it would look like. Is there another one? Uh, yeah. so this traces the development of the chick for all three weeks. So here you have, this is the blastoderm. Um, and this is sort of what they look like. 
And you crack open egg, there's liquid in there still, the albumin and other parts. Um, and then there's the embryo and stuff, and so you, yeah, you eat it. Um, that is disgusting. What? Oh, that. You eat the chick, yeah, the embryo. That is disgusting. You know, there's another view of it. Now, at this point, the bones aren't like fully calcified, so you're not gonna like choke on the bones. You can like chew them up and stuff. Um, and they're eating. It depends. They're eating at different stages. Sometimes they're eating early on in development. Other times they're eating later on in development. I would not have a vegetarian, but it's no different to me than eating chicken. It's just chicken. I don't right. think it's that much different than eating an actual well, chicken nugget. Well, 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 they're commonly eaten, I bet, so they must taste probably good. Where are they? Do you go to Chinese restaurants? No, not at a restaurant. Not I've never seen them around here. You might be able to get in a certain... Um, Certain markets, I don't know. I've never, uh, I've never seen them. I'm gonna look for them. Someone in the Star Curious class says they're gonna, they'll try one if we bring one in. So I'm gonna no. look next time. I'm curious as to how they taste. How many people would anyone eat? Try.